All right, Coach, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Sunshine State and TIAA Bank Field here in Jacksonville. A few minutes prior to us coming on air, this crowd was jolted into action with the introduction of these Jaguars. They're set for football as the Jags are ready to match up with the Dallas Cowboys. Fielded about a yard deep. They go play action here on first down. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Portals to throw on second down. And the pressure gets to him again. Demarcus Lawrence in there to get him. And this pass rush strong now. That sack's on back-to-back -back plays. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. And indeed, that's what they'll do as they run it here. And not much there as he gets it up to about the five-yard line. Just a two-yard pickup, and that should necessitate a call for the punt team here on fourth down. And the Jaguars send out their punter. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. And he'll try and hurry the kick. Gets it away, but it's not looking that great. Now Austin. A special teams mistake there, no doubt. Just 26 yards officially on the punt. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Pitch it out to Elliott. Room here to run. 20. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott, 49 yards. And the Cowboys have taken the early lead. Extra point splits the uprights. And it's now a 7-0 game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee, as they'll start at the 21-yard line. Here comes the Jaguars' offense as they get set here. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Demarcus Lawrence in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Man, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here to be sacked 12 times in a game. I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what, when he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. Bortles. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Jalen Smith. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. Offensively, when you see cover two, the thought has to go through the quarterback's head. Drive the football when making throws. It's not just the deep guys covering. It's the guys underneath you have to be careful of. Drive your throw. Otherwise, you see what results? Interceptions. They'll try to sweep with Allen. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, they're making a real first-quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old-school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. 
Right now, they've decided to, set, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. score. Ezekiel Elliott with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. Extra point right down the middle. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game. And typically, those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early. Probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. Now Bortles throwing on second down. And that one got tipped. Kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Well, we're not playing three yards in a cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, let's go, let's go. it almost turns into slow motion. Hey, and both trip, sides trip, trip, trip. trying to get to the football, and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. Just throw his mortals. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. A good return there, 17 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. And now here come the Cowboys. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. And he takes it past the 45 and down at the 46. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Getting the sense, Charles, are going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far, working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job. Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott doing it again with his third touchdown here in the opening quarter. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. It is now 21 to nothing. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Jaguars getting set to go. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked up by Anthony Brown. And he will score. Touchdown. That pick six extending this lead even further. And boy, it's been a while since I've seen a team struggle this badly in the first half. I think all they want to do is get to the locker room, try and regroup, and come out to start the third quarter. But if things don't improve fast then, I think the backups get a lot of play in the second half. Point after, right down the middle. And the route is on here in this first half. 
So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out comes the Jaguar offense now as they get set to take over. Typically down in the first half, I might say, oh, you at least need a field goal out of this drive, but they're down to the point where they need a touchdown, don't they? Yeah, and normally you know me. I mean, you've been around me for a while now, right? Unfortunately. I'm the, yeah, I'm sorry about that. But normally I'm the one pr uh, preaching patience. Yeah. You know, take your time. First half, you still got a chance. I think they're out of patience here. This has to be a drive that gets a touchdown. So if you're the play caller, you're going to that portion of the sheet that says big time plays, specials, anything you can use to get yourself back into it. Now Bortles over to the right side, caught by Moncrief. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. To throw, it's Bortles. They've got his man complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. And chalk that one up as a gain of 34 on third down. Here's a carry for a former starter. This is T.J. Yeldon. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that's going to make it second and 14. Now Bortles. That one complete to D.D. Westbrook. Touchdown! Jaguars in for the score and the Jaguars get a score closer I'm not sure that they have illusions right now of, okay we're going to score eight times in a row we're going to be terrific but to get one that was huge for them that has to feel much better right now and you do have you're still in the first half you do have the entire second half there's something about that goose egg that just looked bad on that board but now they've broken it yeah broken through can they maintain the pace we'll see as we go along The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. And the ledger for them so far looks pretty good, doesn't it? It certainly does. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. <laughs> Not sure it could be much better than that. They've got to feel very good about the groove that they're in at this stage of the game. They start on the ground with Elliott. Look at the spin. Balance. Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott on his way to a historic performance. Four first-half touchdowns. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. Extra point splits the uprights. And the route is on here in this first half. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. Anytime you feel the kickoff inside your own end zone, you've got to be decisive about whether you're bringing it out or not. Sometimes that indecision can really cost you. That may have been what happened on that play. Bortles now on first down. Over the middle complete. It's Cole. And they'll get him down up past the 15, just shy of the 20. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Throwing now is Bortles. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Cole. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. On second down, here's Bortles. He's going to launch this thing way down. Oh, well, this is taken in. It's complete. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Well, we know he's got the speed there. He needed the speed and the hands. A great catch. And because of that speed, you have to respect it as a defender. So you have to either play off or make sure you're somehow in contact with him. And he's able to do exactly what you said. Use the speed to his advantage and go up and get the football. That's a big-time play right there. 
One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop it. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Jeff Heath. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Second down, here's Fournette. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. But just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Two minutes remain here in the first half. Back with more from Jacksonville. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back after this. Bortles now on first down. This one complete to Niles Paul. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. That one good for a gain of 13 for Jacksonville and a first down. On first down, Bortles. Over the middle complete. It's Cole. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. And that is incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. Gun, gun, gun. Tight end right, tight end right. Hey, 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 hey. Now a play fake here on first down. He's got a man complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. And that goes for a gain of 31. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go, Here you go. 46. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. He'll be stopped short of the 25. The nice move couldn't free him. A gain of three, second down. He was hoping to get to the edge, but they did a really nice job of forcing him back inside. That's excellent fundamental defensive football. Don't let them outside where they can really shred your defense. Here we go, 46. Play action now. Prescott rolling to his right. And a hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. But one thing's for sure, they're still taking their shots downfield, even with a big lead. No, I think it's way too early to go into a shell, so I like what they're doing. Continue to take your shots. Continue to be aggressive. It's not their job to slow themselves down. That is caught inside the five. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. As his guys are in for six. And the Cowboys continue to pour it on. And he puts it through. Down, 
Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. Oh, a heck of a move. Yeah. And not a particularly good return here as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off Byron Jones. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. So now two pick sixes that he's thrown in this first half of play. Where do you go from here? But number one, make sure you keep your poise. Make sure you go to the sideline after throwing this second one and you look like you're still in charge, that you're still the guy because your team's going to feed off of you. And if you're having your hands on your head or shaking your head and walking with your head down, guess what? They're not going to rally at all. The Jaguars' offense now heads back onto the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, second and 10. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Fighting through, and he's got space. He's at the 40, the 20, 10, and he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? Well, certainly they haven't had the ideal first half, but there's something, some momentum for them to take into halftime. Yeah, and it might not be that wild momentum, you know, that you see sometimes where they score late and teams go sprinting off and the whole deal. No, it might not be that, but it does give them a better feeling about themselves and what they can accomplish in the second half. Here's Lambeau out to kick this one away. This will be taken about the 12. Any return that gets you to midfield is a great return. One first down, and you're almost in field goal position. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They had a big first half. Now they have a chance to add to that lead here in the opening possession of the second half. And everyone always asks about halftime adjustments, kind of the key phrase. What did you do at halftime? Well, the way they ran offense in the first half, I think they were very calm, congratulatory, but also what they were saying is, don't expect them to be the same on defense. They'll be the ones making the adjustments. Let's see what they do, and we'll attack accordingly. And we'll see how they attack here. Play fake. Here's Prescott. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. But has not been the best game for him. But he definitely tried to get by with a little help from his friend there, trying to create a big play. Couldn't do it, fell incomplete. But you're right, it hasn't been a banner game here in the second half, just trying to get going. Big thing is trying to keep confidence up and continue to fire. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. This defense could use some more of these types of plays. How about him reading it, driving on the football, and he's right there for the pass breakup. Dak and the offense still out there. They are going to go for it. They're indeed going for it. It's Prescott. And it is incomplete. A.J. Bouye, the fine quarterback, there to make the play defensively. Uh, being just short of midfield, they decide to take a crack at it on fourth down. They don't come through. Sometimes it's just showing confidence in your defense. You know that they're good, and they'll take care of you. A lot of coaches during the week will... And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off Byron Jones. 
Well, NFL quarterbacks have learned the hard way. You're not going to get rich throwing against this guy. He's definitely too good. And this is now his second interception of the ball game. And if I'm running the offense, I've got to tell my guys, you've got to go work on the other corner. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Deshaun Gibson there on the tackle. And he had a nice play there from his free safety position to hold him to nothing. And, Brandon, remember when the free safety was always back away from the line of scrimmage? That's changed. They always that change in a big way. The way we see it now, they're almost mirrors between the free safety and the strong safety. One will be up, one will be back, or sometimes both will be in the same spot. On that play, the free safety was there, no gain. A give to Elliott. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. A big run there, 29 yards and a first. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, 25 yards. And the Cowboys add on. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. They are right now just ice cold. I mean, they have struggled big time in this game, and they're getting blown out. How do they adjust? so tough because we always talk about it being a team game and you need all 11 working well together but every now and then partner you need that one guy who can make a play against all odds that maybe can ignite things and i think that's what they're looking for right now yeah you talk about going to your playmakers they probably need to do it find someone that you're used to touching the football that makes big plays and give them that opportunity to maybe wake up everyone else. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves him at third and one. Nothing doing on that one, and it'll be fourth down. How about the fellas with the stars on the side of their helmets rising up on defense? We always hear about the Cowboys rushing offense. Their rush defense is pretty good as well, I think, because they're so cohesive. Defensive line, linebackers really work well together. And this is incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott, flush to his right. Going to throw deep for the end zone. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Jalen Ramsey right there in coverage to knock it away. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A really nice gain of 25 yards. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys.